Well, good morning, everyone. About to uh, take the Miata out for a uh, spirited canyon drive. Uh, the car has a little bit over 400 miles on it, so we have to watch the RPMs a little bit. Uh, they said anything after 600 miles, you could go pretty much do whatever, but between 400 and 600 miles, we're not supposed to go past 5,000, maybe even 6,000 RPMs. So I'll try to uh, contain ourselves. <laughs> we'll report back here shortly. All right. All right, let's go for a drive in the canyons with the new sway bars. Good or bad. 
here there's a rock in the middle of the road For a quick recap, uh, boy, this Miata is nothing short of uh, just a spectacular car. You give it the beans and it just goes. Um, not the fastest car in, in the world in a straight line, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, everything, all the journalists, um, all the reviews, I mean, they're right. I mean, pound for pound, uh, dollar for dollar, for a 40 plus thousand dollar car, uh, it, it just, it's amazing. When the switchbacks, um, it's just, again, just nothing short of spectacular. I think those sway bars uh, made a world of difference. All the jitteriness, um, the bounciness is all gone. The car is really neutral. I'm really amazed, especially the transitions going from left, right, 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 left, left. Um, it's very controlled. Uh, again, pound for pound for the dollar uh, for a 40 plus thousand dollar car. It's hard to beat. I mean, it, it, I've had, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of my credentials, I, I've had E30 M3s, E36, E46s. In fact, I had E36, the lightweight, the 95. I had Porsches, 996s, 997, 997.1, 997.2, uh, 991, <laughs> 991.2. Uh, had a R8 V10. In fact, the last cars, the uh, GT, Shelby GT350R, uh, I had a 
the Heritage Edition. It's just this thing, uh, again, half the cost, if not even a quarter of the cost. And uh, uh, you just, what can I say? I mean, I think I'm lost for words here. It's just how amazing this car is. So uh, if you're on the fence, um, get one. Get it, get one. I, I can't say praise it enough. Um, I think the sway bars really, that's probably the least amount of uh, uh, modification I would do. Uh, I'm still on the fence about the changing out the Bilstein shocks to the Coney's um, and then changing out the factory springs. Um, I, I think any, really any sway bars should work. Um, with, with a KPC, like I said, it, it didn't interfere. Uh, or very little of it. I didn't really notice much. Um, so without sounding uh, too cliche and uh, zoom, zoom, <laughs> get one. All right. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye.